Okay, hello again everyone. This is Mr. Alberonen here for a Seiji Shishikura breakdown video. Sorry for the bad mic, ignore it, please don't comment about it. Anyway, starting off with Seiji Shishikura. Uh, overall, his character type, I would say, is definitely something of a premier ranged, almost zoning character. This is very, very you would be pretty obvious when I show you that his attack string, his regular X or square button attack string, is a projectile. Look how far this reaches, and unlike characters that run forward, he barely moves, but he launches this flesh finger that reaches so far and doesn't bring him with him, so he can zone you with his regular attack combo, and then you're even further away. I think that in itself shows that he's definitely a ranged zoning character. He wants to be a way to set up his things. Okay, so I've already shown you his regular attack string. It's three hits. It's pretty simple. Um, you can cancel up, cancel after it, but his air attack is not that ranged, so it's quite hard to ever get anything off of it. Um, so this one. So, you rarely can do the third hit unless you're doing a plus ultra or something. You'll cancel after the second one into something. Um, okay. His tilt. Tilt attack is yellow move, his armor move. Oh, I don't use this that often, guys. It's not that great. It, you can delay it, which is kind of cool. I don't see why you do that. I guess you're yellow for longer to a safe or something? I don't know. Take them out. You can't dash out of it. It's kind of slow. It's not that great range. Like when he's not walking towards me. If I'm here, you know, it, it doesn't hit it. Look at that guy. That, that's not that great. But you know, I guess it's a job done as the yellow attack, I guess. No. It does its thing. You can dash cancel from it. If you're better than me. Yep. Um, yeah, that's a yellow attack, you can cancel it into whatever. Um, okay, now for his air combo. I mean, it's quite, it's quite similar to his ground combo, except for the fact that the first hit is, like, a little bit bad. Like, he goes forward with it, but it doesn't go that far. I guess it is far-reaching, but it's not as projectile-y. If that's a word, as his first one, like, look at, look at that amazing range, you can cancel it and gain these things, like, you can do this one, and then you're completely safe if you even, if you miss, like this, like, it's such a good poke, because they're not punishing you, they can't do anything, you're basically still in neutral after you do that one, it's not punishable, it's just absolute, and if they think they can attack you afterwards, it's a string, you go into the whole thing, anyways, I've already talked about the ground combo, the air one, no, it's an air combo. <laughs> you can dash cancel. It's three hits, three buttons. Pretty nice, pretty average. Um, okay, his quirk one is where he charges up these fingers. Oh, let's see how to reset the thing. And after he charges them up, he can rapid spam Y to launch all these them back at him. Um, if you actually just press Y on its own. It, it does nothing. I don't think that is a I, It's a counter. It looks a bit like a counter. I might check that. Real quick. I don't know if that's not gonna work. Wait, sorry. Go into dummy, and I will get him to. Where's. Here, target combo. I don't get hit by it instantly. Okay, ready, ready, ready. Yeah, okay. I press the it's not a, it's not a parry, it's just something. It you just have to hold it down and he summons more fingers. See that time he's had less. You only get six hits. If I hold it down the whole time and he gets them Actually that makes it. I guess it's just a slow move. <laughs> um, yeah, they're good projectiles, obviously. You can 
after you do your poke with this, you can cancel it into that. And yes, what's actually good about them is you can combo after them. So if you get this, you can hit them. And yeah, see, it doesn't really work if you do the two hits. So after you do this poke that I've already said is really good, it's a basically a projectile as your attack, and you go into all these projectiles, and then you go into this again, and you can do obviously something better than that. But that's just the start. So this quirk attack is good for extending combos. Not the greatest projectile. I don't use it that much from far away. Uh, his tilt quirk too is this tracking projectile thing, kind of like Overhaul's new thing with the uh, drops. Um, if you just tap the tilt, it'll just launch out six of them, I believe. Six hits four. Yep, six hits. If you hold it down, it summons more. That's twelve, so double. Yeah, nice. Um, the thing about this move, it's definitely a zoning move that you want to use when you're far away. Because even you saw before, when I was like here in like neutral, like attack difference, at distance. Oh, that, you can completely miss as well. But like sometimes only one hit, sometimes a few hit. They like go around. If you're in, there's a there's a real bad spot where they just completely miss. And obviously, don't recommend doing it there. If you're, it's only about like here to here from the enemy that they'll completely miss. If you're close enough, they'll hit them like from the starting thing. And if you're very close, I think all of them hit. Maybe not. Yeah, definitely a zoning tool, sorry, I'll keep it like that. Don't get fancy with it, so. Um, uh, both of his quirk one buttons are the exact same in the air, he charges it up, and throws them all the same, and they're in the air. Very similar. Um, his quirk two is this interesting um, hand arm attack, which is kind of slow. It seems kind of bad, but... I don't know, whenever I use it online, it seems to go well. I don't know if it gives him invincibility or something, or I think it's actually that the hand itself, I think it blocks projectiles or attacks, kind of like Nina's wall. It blocks the buttons that they're going to do if they do it into the hand, and it obviously just goes forward. It doesn't start combos, it doesn't do like great damage. Well, I guess it could... Actually, yeah, it does start combos if you... Um, not after the two hits though, they can cover up to that. Yeah, if you're near a wall, you can do things. But it's just a good... I kind of treat it like an armor move, since this one isn't the best. It reaches further, it's active for longer. Does it do more damage? I'm not sure. 3000 compared to 3000, it's the same. Anyway, and it just looks cool, I feel. Like the arm forwards. Yep, it's just basically an armor move that looks cool. Doesn't work after these two hits. So. Oh, it's very inconsistent though. Um, and then his it's the same in the air. Yeah. His tilt quirk too is this grab. And as you can see when it grabs him, it says, or maybe it doesn't say, but it said that it was a grab. And he grabs him. I think it does in a battle, you know, when it has all the bottom of the uh, words getting thrown around. Um, but on its own, if you just tap it, it is not an actual grab, it's not a red move, they can block it. It's very unsafe, obviously, seeing as that it's a quite damaging combo starter. It's used for bread and butters like this. He definitely isn't a combo character, but I, I don't know, I really like his footsies. He's very different to other characters in the game. It's a very basic combo that I found <laughs> using this thing. It does good damage. Yeah, it's, um, it's nice. Um, but what? Why it says grab is if you hold it down, it can be held for quite a while, and then it. Oh, it's really evil because people don't realize it's grab because you know it's a normal thing, and then. If you hold it down, it has a split second of saying that it's red, and then it grabs you instantly, and it, oh, the amount of people that this grabs, like if you unblock pencil into this, and they're like, oh, just like, they grab me, or they don't, they don't know what his moveset looks like, because no one wants to use this guy, and then unblock, he was blocking. Um... Oh, I can't 
I'm fine to talk about that. Oh my god. Um, he cancel into this, they think it's the end of the combo, then it goes red instantly, and you've got them in one of your little combos. Ah, uh, it's very sneaky, it catches people <laughs> so many times, and like, within a match as well, it catches the same person numerous times. It's not red, and then it just flashes red and grabs you for a, a combo start, it's great. Um, works the same in the air, of course. It's nice to have an air grab. Anyone against once Justice One, Suyu or Bakugo knows that they can be pretty annoying. Oh, and it's also pretty long range, so if you're like up here and they're expecting you to do like your long range poke. <laughs> Just realized. It is a poke because it's a finger poke, wow. <laughs> Moving on. It, it's very long range, it's an our move. Oh, no move, unblockable. Combo starter, pretty good. Um, I use it more than his block attack, which is his, this armor move, which is definitely a lot faster, you know. It's a bit boring. I do use this though, it's important to make sure the opponent like respects you and just like blocking or dodging the whole time. So make sure you throw out these, like on wake up, it's very fast. On the ground. Can't cancel anything off of it. It's just a knockdown. Quite a long knockdown. So you can run away and get your stuff ready. Um. Okay. Um, as you saw before, his dash. You know, it's average. It's maybe on a bit of the slower side, but you definitely, if you're moving around with Seiji, like, dash around, jump, throw your projectiles. Just do not, I swear, do not look at this. Look at this wall. He looks like when you hold the stick down halfway in some games and they do the sneak thing, but this is his like full speed run. Like, do not just walk, do his run only, dash. Even though it can be a bit unsafe because you know you can't cancel runs into block. Just jump or do something. It's just don't walk. You're too slow. It's really sad. Um, anyways, for combos. It's a bit more limited than other characters. Obviously you can dash cancel a bunch of times if you <laughs> really want to, but I found that you can go in and do this is like a good way of getting damage on him. You do that into this. To, not that. Um, you do this, this, into armor attack, and you can go into a grab. That actually doesn't work when you're too high in the ground because the bounce. So here if I show you after I do the grab, you do a punch, punch into arm attack. Grab doesn't really hit him. So I tend to just go into another grab. I know this stuff is not optimal. There must be something better that he can do, but so far the best I can find is something along the lines of this. Like 7,000 damage. Um, I think it might actually do a bit more damage if you don't put those projectiles in, thinking about it. No, they, they add a bit more. They add a bit more. Um, obviously, if you want, you can. Um, it, oh. Combos. The most damaging thing you can find with him. And like the least dash cancels if is if you start in the air because then you can do your attack attack into armor attack into this, which wasn't any of your dash cancels at that point. So you can get four things in a row, which is rare for him, without a dash cancel. So I, shit, I haven't tested this, but I wonder if I can go. Hmm, it's probably some stuff there. I'm not gonna try and work that out right now. Yeah, sorry, no, I'm not. And after this, you can't. I wish the grab. Oh. Wait, I think I see. Ready? So if I go this, 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 grab. And then I could have dashed and hit him with that. Mm, okay, there's some good extension, guys. So you want these charged up so you can extend your combos. Anyways. The best thing in the air, even if you don't have these charged into that, you can dash cancel into this again. 
and dash cancel if you want again. He, Seiji doesn't have the problem too much of Meteor Blows, but you did then, but I managed to get 4 or something of them out. I mean, I wouldn't recommend going too crazy because you're not going to get that much damage anyways. Um, I just like to do something, maybe just use one dash cancel. Like, maybe, maybe that like, sometimes isn't necessary, and, or like, make sure you get away, charge up these. So you have these, I mean, also, these are just great projectiles, you know? Um, yes, they can also, like, do little combos. Um, now for plus ultra attacks, um, you know, I wish his plus ultra one was a bit faster so it could be used for counter zoning or things, but it's a bit too slow that like if someone throws something, like is starting to throw something at you, they'll hit you and you won't get the full thing out. You might get one or two hits off, but it's not going to like hit them out of It is a great zoning tool. It has really good block pressure. Oh, I didn't do it from too far away, I just noticed. <laughs> but, you know, you can cancel a lot of off of some of his projectiles, like these ones. And like if you have these, you want to go into this thing. Oh, He's you know, those are all going to be flying at him. Knees go. It's a bit hard to rank, it doesn't go full screen, make sure you know that. But you know, it's a plus ultra attack, you can use it for zoning, you can avoid doing these combos. You can do it in the air, I believe, which is good. Oh wait, maybe he can't. Was I in the air? No, he can't. He can't do it in the air. Saging your combos, they're killing you, man, but I still love you. You do it. I just like his tag design. He's very different from other characters. That's very basic. Maybe if I go one, two, into the arm. The arm wants to hit. He's not going to get that much damage. Plus Ultra 2, you know, it's a Plus Ultra 2. It looks pretty cool. Some people don't like how it is. I, I, I think it looks pretty cool. I'm glad they put in the, you know, meatballing effect in a not crazy broken way. So they just have that as a cool thing. Obviously, that's a lot of damage. Very fast. Um, I'm gonna reset the starting position. I just realized, is it a very long range projectile? Because that it will really add to his zoning game if it is. It, it's not that far. But as far as you know, it goes about the range of like that you would want to do these. Except for these you can actually go full screen because they go together. But, anyways, this is Seiji. Um. I probably missed a lot of his character depth, but here's a simple day one breakdown. Hope you enjoyed. Seiji's really fun. I hope you don't think that I dislike him because he has bad combos and he's a zoner. I don't think he's an annoying zoner because he doesn't have crazy tracking things that he can spend. A lot of them are slow startup. He can charge them to make him better. So it's more about making reads, controlling the opponent, and just using his like unusual <laughs> attacks that. Very different. Like these projectiles that you can combo off of, I think are really interesting. Like you throw them out and then you can go into this whole situation and go into some kind of combo. And he's great. I love this. I didn't hold it then. But I love this red move of his, his the clap. It's great. I don't know. I just think he's a very interesting character. I hope you guys enjoyed. That's Seiji. Simple breakdown of day one. Hope to see you later.